Hello friends. Welcome to my new Java programming tutorial series video. Today, I will teach you, how to load and instantiate Java class dynamically using Java Reflection API. Let's move ahead to NetBeans and see how this concept works. Friends. In Reflection Tutorials Java Project. Let's create a Java class. Provide a name to it as, animal. Provide a package name as, com.hubberspot.reflection. Click finish. It creates a Java class by name, animal. Let's provide a method to it say, eat. In this eat method, I will just sys out. Animal class eat method is called. Let's create a Java test class. Provide a name to it as test. Keep it in a package com.hubberspot.reflection.test. Click finish. In test class, provide a main method. There are two ways to load and instantiate a Java class dynamically, through Java Reflection API. In the main method of test class, we will first create an instance of class representing animal class as class animal class equals animal dot class this class object has the information about animal class thus it helps us in determining information about animal class dynamically at runtime using this class object you can create real instance of animal by its new instance method this new instance method throws an java.lang.instantiation exception, if it fails to instantiate Java class dynamically at runtime. It can also throw a legal access exception, when application tries to reflectively create an instance, but the currently executing method does not have access to it. Let's type cast this new instance to animal type. and assign it to animal object variable. After getting instance of animal type dynamically at runtime, let's call its eat method. Let's run this test class. It prints. Animal class eat method is called. Moving ahead. There is yet another way to load and instantiate a class dynamically at runtime. Class class has a static method, for name, which takes in a string. It returns the class object, associated with the class or interface with the given string name. Here, string provided to this method is fully qualified class name as com hubberspot.reflection.animal It returns back instance of class class. If it fails to load class provided in a string, it throws class not found exception. Let's create new instance of animal, and call eat method as demonstrated in previous step. Let's run test class once again. It prints. Animal class eat method is called. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, how to load and instantiate Java class dynamically using Java Reflection API, concept gets more clear to you.
Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.